Today, more than 3 billion passengers travel by air every year, and this is set to double over the next 20 years. These air passengers trust us with their lives. Naturally, our customers expect us to deliver defect-free products and services every single time. After all, that's our promise. But how do we guarantee zero defects when we know that inspection can never be 100% effective at sorting the good from the bad? The answer is to avoid producing defects in the first place. To this end, defect prevention activities are built into our advanced product quality planning and process control requirements as an end-to-end -end process, with each step being integral to defect-free production. Here's how it works. Firstly, we have product quality planning. This is where the design team works directly with the customer to understand what the product needs to do. From this, a product design can be created. Cross-functional teams then carry out design risk analysis to ensure that potential design risks are identified, understood and mitigated. There are a number of ways this might be carried out. For example, by using a design failure mode and effects analysis tool. Next, the team designs and develops a capable manufacturing process to make the product. Any risk of this process bringing about non-conformance is evaluated using a process FMEA and any such risks are mitigated to ensure that the manufacturing or assembly process will produce defect-free products. The appropriate levels of defect prevention controls are defined using the relevant information. For high severity risks, we must strive for mistake proofing, while we can address other risks through statistical process control, inspection or audit. All this is captured in the control plan. We then ensure the capability of the measurement and visual inspection methods required by the control plan. Once verified, we can start to measure the capability of the process to ensure it makes defect-free parts. The Delegated Product Release Verification Program provides a common standard for inspector competency and qualifications. Once in production, the role of manufacturing and assembly is not just to maintain the initial capability level, but to continually improve it to ensure customer and business targets are met. Moreover, data from our processes and inspection must be used to control the process by allowing us to take action before defects are made. If things do go wrong, our problem-solving process must identify and eliminate the root cause so that it cannot happen again. Furthermore, learning from the investigation needs to be fed back into the FMEA, enabling it to be captured and shared. The Aero Engine Supplier Quality Group standards have been created to provide clear requirements on how these defect prevention tools are to be effectively deployed. There is a clear expectation that each of us will deploy these requirements and cascade them down through our supply chain. The final stage of our defect prevention process is an effective audit of the quality system, manufacturing processes, products and special processes. This review reinforces compliance and can identify further opportunities for improvement. Of course, to be effective, all these tools rely on good cross-functional working and leadership that creates an environment intolerant of non-conformance. After all, defect prevention is a key route to achieving our promise of defect-free products and services. AESQ, raising the standard for quality.